what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot had some choice words for Donald Trump, your president, after he went on a Friday morning Twitter rant about protesters at the White House who was there to demand the arrest of four police officers involved in the death of Minnesota resident George Floyd. What did the demander and thief say this time? This dude fixed his funky Twitter fingers to type. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. This is an old phrase borrowed from a segregationist by the name of Walter Headley. He was the chief of police for Miami back in 1967. A very, very brutal subhuman absolutely hated the black community, wreaked havoc on it for 20 years. After the fallout, he tried to act like he didn't know where the phrase came from. But you know, raising that white supremacist household, I'm sure he knew where it came from. Anyway, now what did Lori tell him. Well, she didn't tell him directly, but she said that she was going to denote her response to Trump and just say that she had two words. And they started with F and ended with you. So she basically told your president, fuck you, punk. She didn't say punk, but, you know, she wanted to add that punk on there. I know she did. In any event, family, this is the president of the United States who is talking about shooting, like bragging about shooting his citizens. Then he also came out with another tweet where he said that if the protesters breached the fence, that they would be met with vicious dogs and ominous weapons. Vicious dogs and ominous weapons. Let me tell you something. First of all, those dogs got to go. That is really an uncivilized act to sick a dog on a person. That kind of goes to show you what type of people you're dealing with. They love stuff like that. They get off to it and they can't control those dogs in a lot of cases. When those dogs get a hold of people, they don't even know how to get them off. Sometimes I saw one dude get bit by a dog and the dog had him and it took a whole minute to pry the dog loose. He wouldn't mind. This dude, Donald Trump, I'm telling you fam, I know it's hard to believe, but Biden is not going to be much better. Notice I said much better. It's not going to be much better. He won't be as bad as Trump. N it's almost impossible. But he's going to make a lot of, if he gets in, he'll make a lot of inflammatory comments. And every day he's going to say something stupid, just like Trump. But Trump is, a, is, is such a natural. He has no let up. Biden get tired and he don't want to talk sometimes. Trump always wants to talk and he always wants to type. He loves getting on Twitter. He can't stop. He can't help himself. Biden will have moments where he fall back, but man, damn near every time he opens his mouth, he's going to stick his foot in it. Wow, man. This is horrible. 
this is a horrible time in in society right now. It's a hard time to be alive right now living in this country because there is a lot of hopelessness. There are a lot of evil, wicked people in this country. And many of them reside at the top. Oh man, family, we are in trouble. Does not mean lay it down. Actually, what I'm trying to tell you to do is fight harder, go harder. Do whatever you got to do to preserve life, your life, and gain your respect or maintain your respect. None of that crying. Please don't get out, be out there crying and shit. Don't let them see you sweat. If you cry, cry by yourself. But for every tear you drop, but I ain't got to go there. Y'all know what time it is. If I got to spell it out to you, you're probably a mole or you're just hopeless. In any event, ooh, man. Oh, man, this is tough. Let us pray. Nah, just kidding. Let us be warriors. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?